Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We have two board, well, three boards left on Phladeus. We have two that are open. Omega Pseudoethene and Sigma Ethylene. We're gonna go for Omega Pseudoethene on this one. We need to take some form of Carb Omega and some Hydrogen. Put it into Omega Pseudoethene. The reactors and pipes are not changeable. Both of these reactors are sensor reactors. So, hints for the board. Your first hint. I have no idea what the upper pipe on the second reactor is supposed to be for. If you're looking for cycle optimization, it's all about how fast can you ship hydrogen. Think of each C omega as a component attached at a point. All right, let's begin. Okay, I'm not going to go through my usual routine of walking you through this in inches because this board and its uh, follow the next four boards are just really tough to do that in any kind of reasonable timeline. So I've got some notes that I've got over on the other screen that I'm going to be following for these. And I'll walk you through how we're going to set things up. Now, the first thing, obviously, is how do we deal with the uh, Carb Omega? That's going to be messy. Well, first we're going to have to bring it in. So the reason I say, if you think of it as attachment points instead of as particular components, you have, for example, similar attachment points here and here between these two. Or if you think of this as a two combined to two, and this attachment point is straight, this is a two combined to two with an attachment point is straight. You can also think of these two and these two as an attachment point is straight. You notice, see where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna move the sensor over here for a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some breakups over here. The first thing we need to do is determine, are we dealing with one of these two guys? If we are, I'm gonna send it this way. So if it's not, I'm going to grab this guy. We'll grab him. We'll come on over this way. Um, and I'm going to need to stop here so that Blue can do some work. Um, but I need to tell Blue it can go at some point. I, uh, I don't know there. We'll figure it out. Blue, on the other hand, has its own mess to go deal with. And we will get to that in a moment. I think I, think I want to do this. It, you guys get out of the way. You're just. So when blue is allowed to go. Uh, we need to bring in. Oh, no, wait. We need to sink it. We will. Grab what we need. And I will tell it to unbond twice. Which means that this should be ready to go out so I can ship. Two gap will work. Okay, there we go. So that will tell Blue that it can unbond and ship that. It's going to come up here. Drop the hydrogen. It needs to do that twice. For every one of these we ship out, we need to send out two hydrogens. Which means I'll need to flip flop. Um, I can tell Reddit's allowed to go after the second go, and then I'll wait for it to tell me it's ready. And I can ship Sigma there. Or Psy there, not Sigma. I'll also need a Psy ship along the way there. Okay, so this is our blue route. Uh, for every time it gets let loose, it will bring in a hydrogen, snag it, uh, bring in the hydrogens and snag it, unbond whatever is up here twice to break it off, ship it, drop off its hydrogen, ship one, come through again. It can hit these again for no particular purpose. Come through, tell Red it's allowed to move, and then wait for Red to tell it it's ready to go. Um, it's basically just going to loop at that point. 
Um, blue can be a lot let loose. I can drop it in the same position so I have a single handhold and it can go around. I forget which one's the first one it brings in. I need a test dummy. Oh, that one is. Okay. So if it's this one, now we're going to get copy. Okay, so we know we have an Omega. Okay, we're coming this way. I need to grab it in such a way that I can recheck it here. Okay, so I grab it here. Otherwise, when I come here, I grab you here. When I come across here, I'll have a carbon. So I'll know I can come up and deal with him next. So I grab on this point. I come over. I'm going to need to come down. I may need to move this around because I'm going to need to sink. Okay, so I let blue loose to sink that, but I need to sink there. All right, you go there for a second. Okay, that connects me up here and drops off this uh, carbon omega there. Once I'm let loose, I can rotate it. Got it by the Omega. I can come up this way and resync in. And when I resync it in there, I don't remember if this part works. Okay, so that goes through that way. We drop that off. Blue goes through its routine. So we're synced up, we clear that. I need longer pipes. This thing is really tiny. Okay, for testing purposes, um, let's just make sure that that behaves itself. Okay. Yeah, that's behaving itself. All right, now I can play with this reactor with a little bit of uh, room to work with. Who does its thing? Okay, so it does its thing, and red drops early. Well, bah humbug. Okay, give me a pause here. All right. Ah, if I do a drop grab and then come up this way. There we go. That's what I can do. Drop here. Grab here. That does mean I'm a little awkward on this grab. Okay, hang on. We bring it up. Oh, I can't do it that way. Okay, so... This is definitely a drop grab. To grab it by that point. Oh, okay, I remember how this works. We flip-flop here. Oh no, it can't flip-flop there. Because I'm not always grab I'm not always coming up this way for the flip-flop. I guess I well, actually, yeah, because I go this way to grab this one. And I can flip-flop out. Right. So I come up here. I re I'll try and re-grab, but that won't matter. But for when it's this guy, I'll grab it on the carbon and I'll bring it over. Which means this sink is here. Oh, right. These sinks are a little tight, but that's okay. Alright, so here we go. Those two ship. We drop, we grab. We come up, 
Oops, not us. Clear those out, and then that drops, and and we can send that round. Now, let's make sure this works for all parties. So that's the first big one. Oops, why didn't that ship? Why didn't that ship? Okay. So we drop those. Oh, because I need one more sink trailing this. Yeah, this is with notes. What just happened? How did this one get all screwy? You go that way. You go like that. All right, for starters, you're, I think you're grabbing stuff too quickly. Right, because we need one a full set of sinks on the tail. Okay, so that sets blue loose. And how did this get all screwed up for the next one? I don't even know. I don't even know how being out of sync screwed that up. Okay, so here's this one. This Omega then triggered this Omega, so it came up and snagged it, ran over, and I was going to do basically the same thing as the tailing of that one. Okay, we ran out of room again, but that's fine. So you get the drift. Now, one of the problems I'm having is I don't remember how things are sorting out on the far end, but that's okay. I have a way to deal with that. Okay, so, second reactor. Okay, so I need to, I'm gonna modify my notes up here. Because I basically have three outputs that'll happen. I'll either have C Omega sticking out sideways. That will be from this one and these guys. I will have C Omega down coming from the, these guys and this one. Or I will have Omega C, like so. That should make life interesting. Now the easiest way for me to figure out what I need to do with things will be like this. Well, I'm gonna bring you in. If you're an Omega, come down, come across, grab it, and do something with it. Otherwise, Grab it, come up, check if it's Omega again. Because now I've grabbed it by the carbon and need to see if I've got Omega below me. Remember, the entire intent is to go build this thing. And if I have Omega below me, spin it once so it's up, then come back into the pipe. If it's not, flip-flop out, rotate it this way. So now I've got carbon omega facing this way in all cases. Excuse me, start button, you're just in my way. Now everybody come here and tell Blue it's allowed to start its process. Gonna bring in B, gonna grab it. Gonna come this way with it. Going to drop it. Unbond it. Tell Red it's allowed to go. Red's going to rotate Omega down. Hit the right buttons. There you go, kid. 
Bond once. Bond twice. Reverse. It can do that rotation while it's waiting for the sink. Now, oops. Now it'll flip flop out. Actually, I can reuse that sink. That'll work out. Which will let Blue bring in a new one. And let's see. Okay. Good. That worked as I hoped. So we've triple bonded our carbon omega already. Okay, so blue. It's a flip flop. Come over here. It's gonna have to rotate it that way. Drop it. Unbond it and sink. We're paused there. Delete that. Give me a red sink here. Give me a pause here. Okay. Now at this point, I'm going to want to bring red down. Uh, so that sinks. And goes to its next sink. Red will now come down. I've got it by the carbon. We will bond once here. Come over here. Drop it. Ship it. And then start the process all over again. Let's see if I've done this right. Uh, do I still have my paws? Alright. So that comes through, grabs those guys, comes up there and waits. This comes over, drops it off, unbonds it, tells Red to come in. Okay, I'll need to manipulate my bonder order here. Okay, that worked. There we go. That chips out. Red starts all over again. There we go. Whoosh. At this point, we're just going to let it run and see what happens. I have a reaction error. How did we get to a reaction error? It appears something awkward happened for our unbonding okay so this was our problem child that syncs up that unbonds properly syncs are off Somehow or another, I have the sinks. I have a sink here that doesn't need to be here. That's why. Okay, let's see how it goes. 1687. Not shabby at all. 101 symbols. Cool. I'll take that. I think that's better than my last one. And for our next board will be uh, Sigma Ethylene. That'll be for next time. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a comment. They're always appreciated. And I'll see you next time.